Hello guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming and Tech Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Steam Workshop maps on Rocket League for Epic Games. So if you guys don't know, about one or two months ago, Pisonics created a free-to-play version of Rocket League for Epic Games for the people who don't want to pay for Rocket League, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Steam Workshop maps, which are only available for people who have the Steam version of Rocket League. So if you guys never joined this, this video or any of my videos, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you want to support me even more, go ahead and join the Discord channel. But other than that, this tutorial should be fairly easy. All you pr will pretty much need is a browser, about 2 gigabytes of hard drive space, a PC of course, and Rocket League of course. So thank you guys for watching and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so once you have all of those stuff and you have everything that is required to do all of this, what you want to do is go to your Steam Workshop and just find whatever one you want to download. So like I do with every tutorial video, I will make sure to leave all of these links in this video in the description. So go ahead and go down there in the description and go ahead and go to both of these sites. And these are pretty much the only sites we're going to be using today. So go to the Steam Workshop map that you want to download directly, and once you find it, you don't really have to subscribe. When I first was trying to find out how to do this, I um, subscribed to it thinking that you could, you know, do it in Rocket League, but I was wrong. You don't need to do any of that. All you need to do is go up here to Steam Community, just um, go to the link up top, copy it, and then go to this website, which will be in the description, like I said, and you want to paste it. Now you should see this. If you don't see this, that means that there is something wrong with the link. So now I'll just go ahead and download. I actually already have it downloaded and I'm gonna check right now. Okay, so like you can see, I actually do have them and I've already extracted them. I'm just, I wanted to show you guys this first. So what you wanna do is you want to uh, go to the WinRAR. So if you download it, you should get a, um, a zip file. And I advise you guys to use WinRAR for pretty much all of the zip files. It's a lot better. But to go ahead and just um, left click on it. And once you do that, you should see this. Now what you wanna do here is you want to just highlight them and then go to extract to and you want to go to downloads now I'm not gonna do that because like I said I already have it and you guys can see that so I already have it it should extract it should take like a few seconds and then it'll be done depending on how fast your, your internet is and once you do that you just want to copy this so control C or to be more safe you just go down here and copy and then what you want to do is you want to go to this PC local disk and you guys see that it's right here rocket league is right here which it should not be but i'm not sure why it's right there i'll fix that later but for me it's right there i'm gonna show you guys where it would be for you guys if you haven't been messing with anything so you go to program files and you want to go do epic games now you guys see there's nothing here for me because the rocket league folder is actually outside of the folder it's supposed to be in so once you, you should see the rocket league folder just go to rocket league go to ta game and go to cooked PC console. Now what you want to do now is you want to go, if you guys don't already have a maps folder, all you need to do is just left click, or actually no, um, you want to, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, you want to go here and then you just want to um, do folder. Now, if you guys can't do it like normally, I might have to make a video on that or let me see if I can help you guys real quick. So what you want to do is just do rings map once you if you have the maps folder, which I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and make one. Um, control F. I'll be back once I'm able to find a way to do it. OK, so I'm back and it actually wasn't hard. See, if you go like this, if you go like this, you, you can see that there is a little bit of room. What you want to do is just go right there where nothing is being highlighted and then right click and go to new and press folder and then name it maps. And once you get there, you want to just name it whatever you're um, trying to do. So you guys can see that I don't currently have the um, map. So what you want to do is just go right here and I'm going to name it speed jump. I can spell. Okay, and once you do that, you want to just left click and then copy or not copy, paste all of the files that you copied earlier. And once you do that, then you finish the easy part. Now, this is where you need to pay a lot of attention because if you don't and you mess it up at all, it will not work. So, what you want to do is if you've done this before, what you want to make sure that every time before you uh, like start 
a workshop map you want to make sure that you you go over here so you guys see i have the lab underpass p that's actually what you want to change the other um uh, udk file to or uh, name and you want to just go to rename and you want to just name it anything until you want to use it again you just put it back as labs underpass p so i'm just gonna name, i'm just gonna put um uh less that's how i'm gonna put less and what you want to do is you want to go to, back to that and then you want to go to rename and once you get here, you will need to change the UDK to P UPK. And let me say this again, change the UDK to UPK. If you don't do that, Rocket League will not be able to read and um, execute that file. So just go to UPK and just press yes. And then you want to name it this. So labs, capital L labs, underpa <laughs> underpass, underscore, underpass, capital U and then underscore capital P and once you do that that's pretty much the end you've done it and let me just clarify this if you want to change any of these maps then I advise you guys to go back here rename or rename this to anything don't uh, rename it to loud underpass P and then go to the um, go to whatever map you want to um, execute in Rocket League and then name it the lab underpass and if you don't um, if you don't rename it something else or rename the current one to something else so they can change, it will just basically it will basically execute the last file that was or the last modified file. So just to be safe, what I want you guys to do, what I want you guys to do is you want to right click on this and you want to pin to quick access. Now once you do that, you should be able to let me let me go back up. So you guys see, I have maps right here, and that's because I pinned it to my quick access, so I can easily just go right here, it'll bring me right here, and I can uh, mess with all of this. So that's one thing you want to make sure that you can do so that you don't have to go through all of that hassle trying to get back here. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the map. Okay, so I'm in Rock League currently, and now what you want to do is go ahead and open Rock League, and um, you want to go to play, you want to go to training. And you want to go to replay now what you want to make sure that you do is when you're about to do a custom training pack you want to make sure that you change the um free play map or arena that you're using because if you go into a custom training pack with the um labs underpass arena it will actually like basically bug because the map that is in the labs underpass you know section is you know basically messed with or tinkered with to look like another map so that's pretty much it but you guys see i'm currently using um keyboard so i'm not gonna be too good at this but i'm not gonna play it just go ahead and take off your ball cam and that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you guys end up enjoying this video please subscribe like and turn on notifications go ahead and join the discord channel to help me out even more and in that discord channel i will actually be doing like announcements and we're super close to 900 subscribers so if you guys have any video ideas for me to make like somebody has already gave me a video idea go ahead and put it in the discord channel and other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video